Ben, let's let, let, let's kind of just zoom in now into the restaurant, Salilo, and the challenges of being a chef. I mean, people see all these shows on TV. You know, it seems like there's a cooking show for everything, right. and there's the Iron Chef, and there's um, all these other ones. Do you think that hurts or helps your business? What do you think? Uh, very interesting. I think that. Um about 90% of what is on TV is um, is BS. You know, sorry to put it that way, but it really is. It's just these are there are impossible situations that are created to to be dramatic, and I think that's what reality TV is ultimately. Is let's put people in uh, r uh, ridiculous circumstances, and then they'll act in an outrageous way. The Iron Chef is uh, a is a masterful performance. Those people are true professionals, and what they do is incredible. And uh, it's a total inspiration. And I, I like that show. I, yeah. I watch it when when I can. And um, you know, for me, that's a resource. I, I look at uh, food magazines. I check out uh, food blogs. I like to go out to eat and see what other chefs are making. And that's another resource. And I think that um, it's not a service to the to the restaurants, the restaurant business to see shows where people are scrambling to prepare something in 20 minutes out of ingredients that have nothing to do with each other. Um, and that it makes for good TV. Yeah, yeah. Well, in the kitchen, obviously very different. I know the crew was in there doing some filming uh, with some of your prep cooks and stuff like that. And um, one, I was just really impressed. I haven't been in a lot of kitchens, but you know, I've been in a fair amount. Very beautiful kitchen, nicely done in there. Um, but Salilo is a very, for the gorge at least, um, probably even outside the gorge, but you know, it's, it's upper scale. It's, you know, it's, it's kind of top notch. It's beautiful. Um, do you guys find that challenging in, in, in any regards as far as people perceiving, oh geez, I'm in shorts, yeah, I'm, I'm on vacation, I can't come in, or I gotta dress up. Does that almost work against you sometimes? Yes, I think th there is an element to that. And you know, when we when we thought about the space and, and envisioned it, I I did want it to be beautiful. And I also I knew that I would spend hours in the kitchen, and I wanted it to be a comfortable space for me. So I think that we put a lot of thought into um, the feel of it, and it it turned out in the way that I wanted it to. I like to walk in there, and um, I'm, I continually enjoy the 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 visual of the dining room, and I really enjoy the practical nature of the kitchen. A, a big open space, a well-lit space, a, a, a location that's easy to keep clean and to keep organized. But having said that, yes, it, I think, um, what, do, what do people think? Sometimes they do walk in, I mean, I'm wearing flip-flops today, that's, yeah. this, is my, this is my gorgeous uniform. Is, right. And I think it's everybody's gorge uniform. And what I say is, you know, at the end of the day, we are a restaurant uh, where you can go and enjoy good food. And I, and I know that people do. I love the idea of a special occasion restaurant. Uh, it's a chance to bring your parents when they come to visit from out of town or take your partner out for an um, an anniversary or, a, a, you know, a special dinner or a birthday celebration. Absolutely. All of that is important to me. But at the same time, Go join up with your buddies after work and get a pint of cold beer and a great burger and sit at the bar or sit at the lounge tables by the street and, and just enjoy a casual setting. And I feel like for our, the first couple of years that we opened, people said, ooh, that's a fancy place. And now I think that they've realized um, it can be, but it doesn't have to be. Right. And it can also be um, a great happy hour spot. Yeah. So with, it is really kind of what what you make of it in a sense. I, you know, I if you so. want to make it a dressy place, it can cater to that. If you want it to be dressed down, casual, like you said, beer and burgers, absolutely. And we work hard with the wine list, which supports the, the menu. Jacqueline, is, um, the, uh, she, she takes care of the front of the house, as we say, the dining room, and she builds the wine list. And she's done a brilliant job because what we have are special bottles, things that are really hard to find, and, and quite frankly, they're expensive. And if that's what you're searching for, we want to, to have that. To have wow, this is this thing that I thought I would never be able to find. But at the same time, if you want a glass of wine and you don't want to break the wallet to do it, we want it to be quality. We want it to be good. It doesn't, I mean, inexpensive is a challenge. It has to still hit the mark. It has to be worthy of the dining experience, um, but it's got to be affordable at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. Well, tell me then about as a chef and not actually pursuing that 
initially in your career, like you said, you were going to be a law student, or you were a law student, right. and now you're a chef partner in, in, in a uh, great restaurant here in the Gorge. What, what, what's that like for you now? Do you look back and go, I can't believe I'm here, or <laughs> wow, I guess I did make the right decisions, or where are you at with it now? Well, I'll tell you what, I, I am a chef and a uh, business owner, uh, but, I, but first and foremost, I'm a husband and a father, and I, I, I met my wife in uh, 1996, it was a year after I moved to Hood River, Carol Adams, and uh, she, uh, gave, she opened my eyes to things that I had not planned for either, but, and mostly that is that we're a family now, we have, a, we have two daughters, Josephine is almost eight and Isis is five years old and so parenting is a special thing and um, and being a husband is a special thing too having you know that family there is I think the the most important thing in my life and I, I was ruled by the restaurant I should say I chose to live that way yeah and I worked a lot because I felt like I needed to and it, it was fulfilling um, but my shift is changing in that my family's schedule doesn't has the same limited flexibility that the restaurant has, so I have to manage my time very carefully. And what I realized is that balance is key. And um, I work in the evening a lot. I'm cooking. That's you know that's that's the main um, focus of my uh, active day. But it means that I have some daytime free. So my schedule is the opposite of a lot of people. But I I, I can make it work and. That's the time that I have for my daughters, and that's the time that I have with my wife when she's um, free. And then, you know, we we have to fit the little bits and pieces in around that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think you make a very important point, though. It's your your life was almost out of balance before, and now it's it's a little more balanced, sort of like the food. You know, you you're sustaining um, the local economy in some senses by reaching out and pulling in those those ingredients that are from local farmers and so forth, and then presenting them out to hopefully lots of locals and and. Uh, folks that are here visiting and enjoying the gorge, uh, but it is—it's—it's it's, it's a constant balance, and it just sounds like that would make you an even better chef. I think so, and if there, I really like the way that you put that, thank you. <laughs> um, but I, I think you know, ultimately, balance is, is key, and uh, I, I think that that's something that can be said about um, the the big picture but also all of the little pieces along the way. Maybe I'm restating your your point, but I think it's that's something that we look at in terms of an individual plate that we design at the restaurant or the menu as a broader scale or the way that the dining room feels with the menu and how we're going to present that to people for a casual and special experience and then it's you know for me also it's that um, there will be a five-year-old and an eight-year-old charging through there at times and I want to make sure that people appreciate that uh, life is wrapped up in all of it. Yeah. And um, so have great food. And then, the, you know, there may be uh, somebody uh, with uh, markers and, and crayons uh, drawing a picture at the table next door. <laughs> um, you know, that's, that's life. That's yeah, the way yeah. It be. And that's really our life out here. I think so. I, mean, I think that, that's a good picture there. Well, Ben, thanks so much for coming on. My really pleasure. good to talk to you. Good to talk with you, too. You guys, thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you next time. And uh, remember, take care of each other. See you next time. Do you have a guest idea? Let us know. Go to localite.com.